I'm, I'm Dick de Jong, uh, communication officer at IRC and involved also here in interviewing for the Water Cube and a few other things. And I Could you hold up your badge maybe so we get your name? Okay, there we go. So, well, we actually, we talked a bit before we put the camera on and there seems to be one issue that you feel very strongly about. Could you tell me more? Yes, uh, I feel uh, very passionate about um, the, the wash in schools situation. And I what do you mean by wash in schools? Water sanitation and hygiene facilities that are unfortunately still not available for all schools in the developing world. Okay. Collectively, we have not been able to deliver on, on, on promises there. There are maybe six, seven, eight countries where activities have been stepped up by you know, teaming up of a number of organizations in order to increase the number of schools that have decent uh, uh, water and sanitation facilities separate for boys and girls and for teachers and have set up a management system to maintain that kind of system. And what consequences do you get when you don't have uh, toilet facilities at school? The consequences are all known and proven. Girls drop out at a given moment because there are no, no decent toilets where, where, where they can go to. And when they start menstruating, it's proven in many countries that at 12, 13, girls drop out if you don't have decent facilities. So that means uh, that, the, that the, the, the number of, of women grow up without enough schooling and that has influence on the position of women in society and, 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 and isn't helping development. So this is actually not only an issue about health, it's also an issue of, of politics and social development. And exactly, it is, uh, you know, women are, are, uh, have to be looked at separately uh, when you talk about water and sanitation issues, including on, in schools, that's where it starts. It, uh, you need separate toilets for girls so that they can continue their education and they, they, you know, they finish when they're 16, 17 and from there on get better um, uh, get better person, they get better careers, rather than you know having to drop out of school because because of the lack of a toilet. Yeah. I find that in a way, looking back at 30 years of communicating uh, in water sanitation, uh, a scandal that we have not been able to 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 solve. And the word schools, I don't think I've heard in in in, in the, the the past few days and on this World Water Day. Okay. So obviously this is a very important issue and I hope that there will be more attention given to this in the future. I think we, we need to wrap up now. So thank you very much. Okay, and, thank you. Uh, good luck with your work.